Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, I want to show you where I get my lead. You can see here, big old bucket of some rain scrap. And uh, this is what I use to uh, cast lead for everything from radiation shielding to you name it. So the great thing about living in the United States of Freedom is you can find these little freedom seeds all over. <laughs> it's a special kind of garden called a shooting range. And when no one's there shooting, you can go, typically most, most shooting ranges are fine with it, but you can go uh, sift out some of the dirt in the, in the berms and collect some of this free lead. You just go in there with a little sifter. I just use some uh, chicken wire in a little plywood box and just screen it all out and you get left with all this. It's also kind of good for the environment because you're, you're taking some of the lead that would otherwise just oxidize and contaminate the ground, uh, repurposing it, recycling it. So that's kind of cool. So first step, got this nasty rain scrap with a ton of dirt on it. It is screen, so there's, there's really no rocks or anything left in here, but there's still the odd, odd bit of dirt it needs to be washed off. Not too bad. Clean enough good. Since it's a nice hot day, I'm just gonna throw these in a pan. And While we're waiting for the uh, lead to dry, I thought I would show you my little melting setup. It's pretty damn simple. So I got this super old uh, ceramic hot plate. I don't even know who makes it. There's no markings on here. This came from my wife's grandfather and I have no idea how old it is, but it is a great little heater. So obviously you have the uh, ceramic plate and she gets, she gets cooking. Yeah, she's getting up there. Now the thing is it doesn't put out enough heat to be super, super quick. Um, <laughs> So in order to kind of speed up the whole melting process and on breezy cool days, I actually couldn't really get the lead to melt. It would just kind of supify, but you could never get a consistent thing of lead. So I got this uh, cheap little steel pot from a thrift store down the road, insulated it with some uh, kale wool and it works a treat. Now I just use these little stainless steel cups from Walmart as uh, as my little muffin molds. Well, our lead's been cooking in the sun for a few hours now. And it's all dry. So we're good to move on to uh, melting this stuff down, separating the lead from the jackets. And also, I forgot to mention earlier, there are other ways of separating the lead from the dirt. Around here, we just have clay soil, not very rocky, so Screening is a really efficient method of, of picking these out. But in rockier areas, Cody's lab did an awesome video on uh, dry panning. So definitely check out Cody's video. It is excellent and he is one of the greatest channels on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to him. All right, we're good to go. Turn the uh, hot plate on and I'm just gonna start loading the lead in here. Yeah, I'll have to add a little more as it uh, cooks down. Throw some insulation on top of there, let it heat up nice and quickly. All right, well, it's been about 15 minutes. You see some of the vapors coming off. That's paraffin from these uh, lubricating wax rings or uh, some sort of mixture of wax. Maybe not exactly paraffin. It sure smells like it though. But you can already see some molten metal in the bottom there. So it's gonna progress pretty quickly from here. So at this point, I am just gonna collect the jackets. You see all the dirt that's floated to the surface. Quite a lot. So even though we washed it, there's still a lot of dirt. It's pretty heavy, so it might just be lead oxides and that sort of stuff. All right, 
add some more bullets just slowly see a little bit of bubbling which means there is still some moisture trapped in them so add them nice and slowly not letting them plop into the solution otherwise you might get an explosion speaking of explosions definitely check your uh, your rain scrap for live rounds sometimes people will throw duds into the the range berms and you could potentially be heating up a live round in your pot here so uh, you always want to keep an eye out for those and, and toss them <laughs> we got a frozen iceberg of bullets there we go throw the cover back on give it some time to heat up getting down to pretty metal I'm calling that good. <laughs> Should be some pretty clean lead. I'll just pour it into these muffin tins. just going to use this aluminum plate to help cool them down a little faster, suck the heat out of them. All right. Whew, still pretty freaking hot. Yeah, they got some heat in them. Holy crap. I'm gonna move them onto the wood. Take good care of your gloves. <laughs> Pour a couple more here. Good three or four molds left. Gonna pour a few smaller ones just because they fit into my lead pot a little better. at all that crud that reformed. There we go. All right, it was starting to uh, thunder out there, so move the operation inside. Everything's had some time to cool down as well. So let's see what our yield was. Now I only sifted for about 15 minutes, so curious to see how much. And I only used about half the lead. Man, 10 pounds of lead. Nice. That's a pretty damn. Uh, that's a pretty damn good amount. Now the only thing is, this is an unknown alloy, so probably still good for. Uh, Casting all sorts of stuff, whether you're doing sinkers or bullets or that sort of thing. But there you go. How to uh, process some free lead. As long as you live in America, this should work. If you're in Europe, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, there you have it. A bunch of rain scrap turned into 10 or so pounds of nice little lead ingots, well, little muffins, muffins you definitely don't want to eat. <laughs> and uh, from here you can do a bunch of fun stuff, put them in a melting pot, you can make sinkers. Uh, I typically use it to make little balls, which uh, one, I use them in my ball mill for milling media because lead is non-sparking, so you can safely make black powder with it. 
safely being a relative term, it's uh, still something you got to use a lot of caution doing very far from anything. Uh, all that sort of stuff. And in addition, uh, a couple <laughs> a couple videos ago, these also happen to fit my little black powder cannon perfectly. So check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And in addition to that link, I'll also leave an Amazon homepage link. It's a URL shortened GOO.GL. And uh, if you guys could save that as your Amazon homepage link, it would mean the world to me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, it really helps the channel out. Uh, I would, again, I'd, I'd love to do this purely off Patreon and uh, YouTube revenue, but it's just, it's not there and not sustainable. So I truly appreciate everyone who has swapped that link out. And if you haven't already, please consider doing so. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment, click that little dingleberry next to subscribe so you can get notified when I post. And I will see you next time. Have a great one. Ooh, something about heavy balls in the hand. <laughs>